Welcome back to the Phantom. There are some restaurants where the food is designed to just fill you up. And there are other restaurants where the dishes are more like art. They're beautiful and masterfully composed. And at Wobbin Kitchen, they just happen to be delicious too. They say that you eat with your eyes first. And at Wobbin Kitchen in Newton, you most certainly will. That's because this eye-catching cuisine is created by two chefs who got their starts as artists. I've been a painter my whole life. I was an artist before I was a chef. It's been a part of my life in parallel with cooking for over 25 years. This energetic eatery brings city style to the suburbs with exposed brick walls, low lighting, and a bustling bar at the center of it all. And while chef owner Jeff Fournier has some of his own art hanging on the walls of the dining room, the real masterpieces are created back in the kitchen where he and his chef de cuisine, Jacob White, are putting the art into the culinary arts. I find that people eat with their eyes before they even taste the dish. It's the aroma coming off a dish and the visual appeal of a dish is very important. It's something we take great pride in. So while they strive to send out food that's pleasing to the palate, they also want to make sure it's pretty too. I think all the senses come to play but visually, I think mean, it's super important to have contrast of color and size and negative space and all of the things that you think about when you're thinking about painting composition. We bring that to every plate that we do. Coming up with each dish in this ever-changing menu is quite a process. Jacob, my chef de cuisine, and I sit down and do sketches and plan out plates to make sure that we visualize with the cooks how we're going to be presenting things. So whether you're getting a fresh plate of homemade pasta like this one tossed in a white wine garlic sauce with fresh local mussels or having something as simple as a flatbread, you can be sure plenty of thought and care went into the creation. Whether it's art, painting, drawing, music, or food, it's something that you create and you feel passionate about. Two tickets for 104. One of the most passionate dishes is Wobbin Kitchen's Five Spice Roasted Chicken. It's a house specialty and customer favorite. We see guests come back a lot for it. They're like, oh, I need to have the chicken again. I need to have the chicken again. I'd love to try something else, but I'm coming back for the chicken. This perfect piece of poultry comes resting on a bed of mashed potatoes made with black garlic. Black garlic is fermented garlic. There's nothing else like it. And we utilize it in our mashed potatoes in kind of an approachable way where people are like, ooh, black garlic, I've never had that. But they try it and they love it and they're like, where can I get this? Depending upon the season, you can find elaborate dishes like this salt and pepper Maine lobster sautéed with Napa cabbage, sunroot, and bird's eye chilies. This take on a Chinese classic smells just as good as it tastes. It smells amazing. When we send them through the dining room, you can smell all the lemongrass and ginger. Just as soon as it hits the hot pan, it just becomes super aromatic, and people really respond to that. There are fancy deviled eggs topped with caviar and crispy fried oysters served with roasted shallot aioli. Even good old-fashioned steak and potatoes is anything but ordinary as the steak itself is dusted with porcini mushrooms. We bake them in the oven and dry them out and then we puree them into a dust and that acts as a seasoning on the steak just like you'd add salt and pepper. Because the kitchen tries to stay as seasonal as possible, the menu is always changing. But you'll always find the peanut butter mousse pie on the dessert menu. People come back and come back and come back and they order the peanut butter pie every time. Just like with the chicken entree, we want to make sure that people have something they crave when they're not here and they come back for that peanut butter pie. And while there are some signature dishes that stay constant, these chefs are constantly being inspired to tweak tinker and start fresh. Menu changes are always really fun because I get to write new dishes and I get to see my ideas actually come together on a plate and that for me is really rewarding. There are kind of two really fun parts of being a chef and particularly an owner is that I get to see people be happy with the things that we're cooking for them and provide hospitality for them. And then the creative part of changing menus and really actively being engaged and letting the guests be challenged and excited and surprised by what we create. Thank you.